Welcome to another annual guide on the most efficient solar cells and solar panels. As usual, this video will be split in two parts. First part covers the highest efficiencies that we have seen in the lab. This gives us a snapshot of the up-and-coming technologies. In the next segment, we look at the most efficient solar panels available in the market. So let's begin with the lab efficiencies that we will list with increasing order. The dye-sensitized solar cell recorded efficiency of 13%. There hasn't been any improvement in this technology since 2021, but its advantage remains, i.e. it is the lowest cost potential for solar PV. Next are organic solar panels that did see a 5% improvement compared to last year and recorded a total efficiency of 19.2%. Cadmium telluride solar cells also saw marginal improvement and now sit at 22.4%. The most commonly used thin film technology is CIGS. It stands for copper indium gallium diselenide. These cells are now 23.6% efficient. Polycrystalline silicon cells, which are the most used solar PV in the world, have now reached levels of 24.4%. Unstabilized perovskite, which is the most exciting solar technology of the last four years, have now top efficiency level of 26.1%. Monocrystalline silicon solar cells have seen no improvement at all in the last five years. They remain at 26.1%. Gallium arsenide panel's highest efficiency record stands at 30.8%. Tandem perovskite cells that also have a layer of silicon demonstrated efficiency of 33.7%. This technology is most likely to be commercially pursued for producing high-performance domestic and commercial solar panels in the near future. Right at the top, we have the king of all solar cells, i.e. the multi-junction solar cell. This has an efficiency of 39.4%. There has been only a slight efficiency improvement from two years ago, when it was 39.2%. Note that these values are recorded at one sun illumination, i.e. 1,000 watts per square meter. The values are higher if concentrated solar irradiance is used for multi-junction solar cells. And now let's begin the second part of the video where we look at the most efficient panels available in the market. The panels are listed with rising efficiencies. The highest efficiency CIGIS panel is the BSM Flex 130N. It has an efficiency of 17%. The great thing about CIGIS panels is that under low light conditions, they perform better than any other type. They are also flexible, meaning they can even be deployed on car roofs easily. Its price, however, is around $105 per watt. The highest efficiency polycrystalline solar panel in the market is Canadian Solar's CS3W420P. Its efficiency is 19%. The price per watt is just $0.5 per watt, making it great value for money. Heterojunction is a technology that has been used by many developers for producing high-performance solar panels. They combine monocrystalline panels with a thin film amorphous layer underneath. Canadian Solar also dominates this technology. Their High Hero Series Panel 425W panel is 22.8% efficient. The price for this panel is $150. This means the price per watt is Yo 35s. In the monocrystalline category, Sun Power, that ruled for more than a decade, has been knocked off its perch. There are now two relatively unknown panel manufacturers that have appeared on the scene. These are Aiko Solar and Recom Tech. Their 460-watt panels, the Black Hole Series and the Black Tiger, respectively, have efficiency of 23.6%. The Aiko panel is available for $282. This makes it $0.6 per watt. They are much cheaper compared to Sun Power that used to be nearly $1 per watt. Although Aiko has also revealed panels in June 2023 with efficiency of 24.3%, but so far they have not made it to the market. The next category is bifacial panels. They give 6 to 10% more power while being 5% more expensive. They are best used in solar farm rather than rooftops because they make use of ground reflected radiation. The bifacial Hygon solar panel model HG585N72HC10B has a very high efficiency of 22.7%. With the rear gain added, the efficiency rises to 26.7%. The price per watt is expected to be around 0.8. Let's now look at multi-junction solar panels that are mostly used in satellites. There are very few developers of this technology. The top one being Spectralab, which is a subsidiary of Boeing. Their panel XJT Prime is 30.7% efficient. Approximate cost of these panels is $10,000 per square meter. 
Similarly, triple junction gallium arsenide solar cells of 30% efficiency developed by Hemu Group and EU Solar are available for purchase. The approximate price is $33 per watt. Perovskite panels will be sold soon and we will report their prices and efficiency in the next year's video. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.